Hey, I'm working on these time robot clocks and I'm adding some um, quartz movements to the insides. So I'm working on the quartz clock movements for the robot clocks and I've decided to do some modifications to the movements to make them more reliable and easier to install on the robot clock. And so I'll show you what I'm doing here. So this is the hour hand shaft and this is the minute hand shaft and the second hand shaft is inside there. And this is a piece that I've designed in 3D print that slides over and slips onto the, uh, this hour hand shaft. But sometimes uh, I use adhesive to uh, lock it in place, but sometimes the adhesive contacts this minute hand and it, it, if it does that, it can lock up the, uh, the clock movement. So what I've been doing is removing this piece. This is a metal piece. You can see it has some, some teeth in it there on this end. And on this end, it interfaces with the, um, the minute hand. And it's just actually pushed in place and uh, goes into another plastic shaft that's further down inside. So I'm going to pull this out to eliminate that possibility uh, from happening. And so I just take some needle nose pliers and grab it and pull it out. And so that's what it is on this one. They're, they're, the clock movements were a little different, but you can see it's basically the same idea. There's a spline shaft here that goes into a plastic piece. And then what's left is the second hand. I'm going to leave that alone because uh, I don't think that'll be an interference problem. So now I can just uh, put a little adhesive right here on this uh, leading edge of this uh, hour hand shaft. And I can slip this on in place and won't have any problems with it locking up into the, uh, the minute hand. 